Structural mechanics is an essential skill for a mechanical engineer, especially if you're involved in working with stuff that people actually use, like airplanes or bridges. It's, it's a really good idea to get proficient at this kind of stuff because if you're not, it'll break, people end up dying, you feel bad, people are asking you why you screwed up. So it's, it's really just a better to avoid the whole hassle and get really good at it so nothing happens in the first place. So we're going to go through this series and we'll start by looking at how to find forces at different points on your structure. So right now we have a cantilever beam, we're say it's supported on this end and we have this distributed force across it here and we want to know the forces at section A. We want to know it at A because maybe we have some kind of weld here or a joint and we need to figure out will this break at the weld? Maybe there's like a weak point and we, we want to find the forces at the weak point. Whatever the case, let's do some analysis. So this 500 newtons per meter, this represents the magnitude of this distributive force here. Over here it is at zero newtons per meter and it goes up linearly at this point. So first thing we want to do is find the forces in this triangle and we can do this First, by finding the forces here, the magnitude of this distributed force at this specific point. First thing we recognize that this angle theta is the same for the big triangle, the overall thing, as well as the small triangle, which means that the tangents will be the same because the tangent of theta is equal to the tangent of theta, as long as the tangent of theta is equal to the tangent of theta. So 500, the opposite divided by the adjacent. So 500 divided by 10 meters is equal, so this is the tangent for the big triangle, is equal to the tangent for the little triangle. This will be the unknown distributed force divided by the length here, which is three meters. So force equals three times 50 is gonna equal 150 newtons per meter. We can just solve that for algebra with algebra. And now we want to know the area of the triangle here, which will represent the total force experienced in this triangle. So formula for area of a triangle, one half times base, which is three meters times height, which we just solved for 150 meters. This is total force will equal 225 newtons. And where does it act on the triangle? It will act at the centroid which will be about right here which will be one-third if we have I hate it when it does that x equals zero here it will act at one-third away from x equals zero so one-third this is three meters length one third times three equals one meter from the base. Now we can draw a free body diagram of our reaction forces. So we're gonna have a moment reaction, a normal reaction, and a shear reaction here. So we have 225 Newtons and it's acting at one meter away from our point of interest here. First of all, our normal is gonna be zero. There's no other horizontal forces, so N equals zero. Our shear is also, I apologize if it's not super trivial to you, but I mean, look at it, it's V going up and then you have a force going down and they're gonna equal, they're gonna equal each other, so V is going to equal a positive. If we define up to be the positive direction, V is going to have to be 225 newtons in the positive direction to cancel out the 225 newtons going in the negative direction. And for the moment, we'll do a sum of the moment equals zero. So we have a moment here. This is acting in the negative sense. So if you curl your fingers in the direction of the arrow, so let's say you have your fingers and you are curling them. 
this is your arm and you're using your right hand your thumb will be pointing down thumbs down is negative so we have a negative moment this is the sense of the moment vector we drew and also if you put your thumb on this same point and you curl your fingers in the direction of the force it's also negative so minus one meter times 225 newtons so we have 225 newton meters equals zero for this to be in equilibrium and so we're going to have a moment force of negative 225 newton meters and so these will be the forces experienced at this cross-section.